Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, commonly referred to as MRSA, is a type of staph bacteria that is resistant to many antibiotics. In the general community, MRSA most often causes skin infections, although in some cases it causes pneumonia and other issues, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. If left untreated, MRSA infections can become severe and cause sepsis, a life-threatening reaction. The CDC reports that 2 in 100 people carry MRSA. In the general community, MRSA infection risks can increase when a person is in activities or places that involve crowding, skin-to-skin -skin contact, and shared equipment or supplies. To help prevent its spread, the CDC provides information about environmental cleaning and disinfecting for MRSA in the general community. Surfaces to focus on include places that touch people's bare skin each day and any surfaces that could come into contact with uncovered infections. The agency includes the following information about differences between cleaners, sanitizers, and disinfectants. Cleaners or detergents are products that are used to remove soil, dirt, dust, organic matter, and germs. Cleaners or detergents work by washing the surface to lift dirt and germs off of surfaces so they can be rinsed away with water. Rinsing is an important part of the cleaning process. Sanitizers are used to reduce germs from surfaces, but do not totally get rid of them. Sanitizers reduce the germs from surfaces to levels that are considered safe. Disinfectants are chemical products that destroy or inactivate germs and prevent them from growing. Disinfectants are regulated by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. According to the CDC, disinfectants effective against staph are most likely also effective against MRSA. Check the disinfectant product's label on the back of the container as most, if not all, disinfectant manufacturers will provide a list of germs on the label that their product can destroy. Be sure to read the label of the cleaner or disinfectant to understand how to apply the product to the surface, how much contact time is required, if the surface needs to be cleaned first and rinsed after use, if the disinfectant is safe for the surface type, whether the product requires dilution, and any precautions such as gloves or extra ventilation that may be required when using the product. These are just a few things to know about environmental surface cleaning and disinfecting for MRSA in the general community. To learn more about this or other environmental, indoor air quality, health, safety, or occupational issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.